may the Lord bless and keep you. Sometimes people contact me for prayer, which is fine, which is excellent. But what I do have a problem with, they don't pray for themselves. Or if they do pray, they give this, I assume, this two to five minute prayer and believe that, hey, this is okay. This should <laughs> be okay with me for the next time I pray for about two minutes. I have an issue with that. Do you believe that? And I am not saying this to be rude or anything like that, but do you believe that it is easy for me to pray? Some days I am telling you I have to fight. I have to fight internally to pray because everything is resisting me from praying. You won't believe the things that I go through. <laughs> you would not believe. And I believe part of it is due to me being tested. Some days it is easier for me to pray, but sometimes, wow, it is crazy. It is crazy. Makes no sense. Let me say this. And this happened a while ago, maybe last year, I forget. But I was praying and everything was fine. All of a sudden, either in my right ear or my left ear, I was the only one in my room either in my right ear or my left ear, maybe my right ear, I believe. This loud sound came out of nowhere like this very loud air sound that sounded something like a voice, but it sounded more like rushing air or wind, but it was trying to shape it in like a voice. I was praying for about one or close to two hours, I believe, maybe more. Everything is silent. Out of nowhere, this very loud to where it hurt my eardrum, I am telling you. And I am alone and it is silent for about one or two hours all of a sudden, I hear this noise as if whatever that demon was, was next to my ear, making that loud sound. I can tell you more stories, man. <laughs> when that happened, I am alone, no one in my room but me. Then hearing this, you know, my mind and my focus is totally on God, on praying. All of a sudden, this loud sound come out of nowhere. How do you believe that would affect you? Some days where it is hard to pray five minutes, like to get down 
on my knees like <sighs> there are times where all of a sudden I get so tired out of nowhere and I am thinking what is going on and I am trying to pray and I am falling to sleep <sighs> listen I have no problem praying with you. Let me say this. There is a woman that contacts me through text about each day, I guess you can say. Every so often, I guess. And what I see in her, she is trying so hard. She is trying so hard to excel higher in God. She listens to my teachings and take it and research more, trying to get closer and closer to God. For that person, I am going to go out my way to help a person like that because this person is trying to pray much, trying to do right, trying to get her life in order. I have no problem helping a person like that. But when you come to me, Kevin, can you pray for me? Okay, how long do you pray? Well, they don't give me a straight answer or they don't answer me back. <laughs> how much do you read the Bible? No answer. <laughs> how much do you fast? I don't fast. Oh, Kevin, I don't think my mom or dad is going to allow me to fast or Kevin I have this sickness where I can't fast or so many excuses but you want me to do the work for you if you are like that woman doing what you have to to excel I am going to be behind you to prop you up I don't mind that because you are trying, but if you are not willing to try, I can't walk out your salvation for you. When you get judged by God, God is not going to say, hey, Kevin, let me <laughs> judge this person based upon how you lived your life. That is not going to happen. <laughs> Everything is going to be based upon what you have done in life. I don't mind helping that woman. I don't. Because she is willing to help herself. And she tells me what is going on. And if she needs help, hey, I am praying for her. But if you tell me, well, Kevin, when I do pray like 30 seconds before I fall to sleep, that is when I pray. Or, you know, I don't have time to read the Bible because I am so busy, blah, 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 blah. I can't walk out your salvation for you. If you choose to not fight against demons and you ain't doing the necessary things to fight against them, let's say <laughs> I prop you on top of my shoulders and carry you throughout your Christian walk. What if I die? So you are telling me that you are willing to go to hell because you are not willing to do what you need to do? 
if there was this person and I would constantly tell this person what this person needs to do to change and this person would get irritated at me because I would do it so much Kevin this issue is happening to me that issue is happening to me what is going on and I constantly tell this person do this do that do this do that not that I am trying to be forceful or pushy what is the point in telling me if you are not willing if you are not willing to change why even tell me why why do you want to talk to me I am a real Christian if you are not willing to do what it takes to serve God why do you have any interest in wanting to speak to me I don't get it because what you are into and what I am into is different so obviously there is going to be conflict there so why do you want to be around me or speak to me when you don't want to change I don't get that are you trying to drag me down are you trying to get me to prop you up that is not going to happen because I have a hard enough time praying for myself and my family so hard so hard some days are easy yes but many days my lord I have to like I don't know what to call it but like push everything within me and just do it but Kevin pray for me okay but what are you doing for yourself there was this one guy I found out early in my channel or maybe a year or two ago you know this guy came on my channel not came on my channel but was commenting on my channel and stuff like that and I started to talk to him over the phone and stuff like that I learned that this person had a particular gift a gift that I don't have so I would ask this person questions like so many questions almost every day and I believe what he told me after a while he was saying that Kevin I feel like you are using me for my gift Kevin I feel like you are using me for my gift and I am thinking well the gifts that we have we have to help people with our gifts but what I was doing instead of asking God my questions I was asking him Hey, ask God if blah, 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 blah. Ask God blah, 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 blah. Other than making my connection with God stronger by getting closer to him, I was, I guess, using him to ask God questions and stuff like that. Now, you may not believe in this or whatever else, and whatever so this person I guess he got mad at me and he stopped talking to me and when I learned of this of why he stopped speaking with me I was thinking well yes after a while <laughs> it came to me yes that person is right because I would feel the same way if a person would always ask me about questions that they should be asking God like you should be seeking God for yourself but 
instead of seeking God and taking out the time, you are using me as a proxy. That is not right. Now, every so often, and if you need a boost, okay, come to Kev. But what I was doing to that person, hey, skip seeking God for these answers. Let me come to this guy here. And because of that, I believe everything that was going on at that time period was not of God as well. So what I am trying to say, put in the time and effort. Of course it is not easy. Do you believe praying for one hour, two hours, three hours a day is easy? A person told me around this time I was praying for three hours a day, like on a consistent basis. This person was saying to me in so many words that I need to boost it up to six hours a day. And I was thinking, how is that possible? At first, I thought that it was impossible to pray three hours a day. But when I got to that point, let me say this. Now, while you are thinking, you may think that, oh, praying for three hours a day is crazy or I don't believe that you was doing it. Look, if you seek God and pray three hours a day, around that time period, much more supernatural things was happening to me. Much more. Like, I get visions and dreams and stuff now, but back then, they were really, really clear. Very clear. And so many demonic things as well. But very, very, very clear. Many things I did not understand, but so many clear things was coming was coming to me in visions and dreams. Like I would have while praying so many visions while I was awake while praying so many visions. And I could hear some things as well too. But um my point is What you need to do, pray more, read the Bible more, fast more. Hey, if you still run into trouble, call on Kev then. Okay, fine. But don't tell me, well, Kevin, you know, I, I pray, you know, two minutes <laughs> every two days, you know. <laughs> like every three days, I pray for two minutes, you know. Right when, before I go to sleep, I pray or I read the Bible, you know, like once every three months, you know, for five minutes. <laughs> I don't know why all these bad things are happening to me. <laughs> go figure. If you are not willing to do the work, you can't think that I am going to do it for you because I am not. Things are heavy for me now. Man, there are some people that know some things that are going on with me. And if they were to tell you what is going on with me, you would be really shocked and they just know part of it only part i am not tripping or i am not what word can i use i am not so much to say worried about what is going on with me but there are quite a bit of things so i have that I guess you can say the earthly and then 
with the supernatural, I guess the supernatural in the earthly would coincide with each other, but I am going through quite a bit as well. So this is why I ask you all to pray for me as well, because what I have noticed, which is really crazy, when I teach about something, I usually, like the next day or the following week or whatever, I get tested on what I teach. And I'm thinking, for instance, I was telling you all a while back about how I got healed from asthma. Don't you know an asthma attack came upon me that same week? And I have not had one for a while. And it was really bad. And I am thinking, is this coming upon me because of what I taught? And some other things as well. And I'm thinking, should I continue to teach? Because when I am teaching about it, it is coming upon me again. And I am not cool with that, you know? <sighs> the things I go through. <laughs> I can't complain. I can't. So I pray that this makes sense. Do the work. Pray for an hour a day if you can. Let's say a half hour. I would be happy if you come and tell me, Kevin, I am praying for 20 minutes a day. Kevin, can you help pray for me? Fine. I am not saying that you have to pray as much as me. I am not saying that you have to seek God as much as me. Do something. Don't tell me two minutes or one minute a day or every two days. No, I am not trying to hear that. I need help, Kevin. Do something for yourself. I pray that this makes sense. Listen, I am not trying to hurt anyone. I am not trying to make you mad. I am not trying to make you cry or feel bad about yourself. I am not. I am not. But I am telling you how to excel, not to stay stagnant or lukewarm. Perhaps if more people would pray for me, I would be able to pray for many more people each day. But I am telling you, it is draining. Like, actually draining where, where it feels like my energy is gone. I am serious. Sometimes, there are some times, let me say this. I used to teach at my parents' house every weekend every Saturday and after I would get done teaching it would feel like my energy was drained and I am thinking all I was doing was talking <laughs> you know I did the research you know the past week so all the information is here and all I am doing is talking. Don't you know that my energy, it felt like I was so drained. And I am thinking, why is this happening? And sometimes when I do YouTube videos, it feels like my energy is drained. Sometimes when I get done praying, it feels like there are times where I, I get on my knees and I pray for two, three hours, whatever. And when I get done, like my energy would be so drained to where I go to sleep right after. I have no idea why. And you may say, well, all you are doing is praying. I understand what you are saying, but Please take heed to what I am saying. 
there is a lot more that is going on than what you understand and see. There are things that I see or experience that I can't even explain. So I pray that this makes sense. Please seek God on your own. When you need help, hey, come to Kev. But make sure you put in the work and effort. Yes, the time that you seek God does matter. Time does matter. Effort does matter. Putting in two minutes, one minute, 20 seconds, that is not going to do. I am trying to tell you. This is from experience. I live this life every day, not on the weekends, not every so often, all day, every day. I am not casual with this. So I pray that this makes sense, please. Seek God on your own. Because if you don't, you are never, ever going to excel. Even if I try to prop you up on my shoulders, you are never going to excel. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.